flowers, Clifford. Ruff, ruff. They smell great, don't they, boy? this morning, I'm sure of it. Hi, Jetta. Oh, hi, Emily Elizabeth. What you doing, Jetta? I can't believe it. I've lost my most favorite sweater in the whole entire world. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe Clifford and I could help you look for it. Dogs are great at finding things by using their sense of smell. Right, boy? Well, okay. I'll try anything if it'll help me find my favorite sweater. I'll get Mac to help, too. Mac! Oh, Mac! Where are you, Mac? Mac, I need you to help me find my sweater! I know what'll get him to come. Mac! I've got a tummy yummy for you. Can he be? I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Well, first my sweater, now my dog. Mac always comes for a tummy yummy. Always. I'll help you look around here for him, and maybe Clifford can check around town. <laughs> Where could Mac be? seen Mac around, have you? No. Why? Is he missing? Yeah. Want to help look for him? I'm right behind you, big guy. Mac could be here at the beach. I don't see him. Maybe he's out in the water. I'll go check. Hi, Clifford. Hey, T-Bone. What's Cleo doing? Mac! Oh, Mac! Mac! Oh, Mac! Whoa! Cleo's looking for Mac. Is he missing? Yep. Well, he's not in the water. <laughs> hey, Mac likes to play in the woods behind his house. Maybe he's in there. Good thinking, T-Bone. Follow me, guys. <laughs> Clifford! Clifford! <laughs> Oops, sorry. Maybe I should follow you. This is just so weird. Mac never leaves my yard until after he's had his lunch. Don't worry, we'll find him. I hope so. Doesn't he know how worried I am? Mac! Here, Mac! 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 You in here? Mac! 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 Coming. Uh, uh. Uh. 
Wow, you look like a giant tree. <laughs> you sure do. Your fur is stuck on the thorns. What am I going to do? Grab onto my leg and I'll pull you off the shrub. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Mr. Kibble could come out and cut off all your fur instead. Never mind, I'll grab his leg. One, two, three. <laughs> I guess it didn't work. I guess not. Yes, it did. Look. Mac! Mac! I... Mac, here you are. We've been looking everywhere for you. You should go home, Mac. Jenna is worried about you. I can't go home. Look. <gasps> is that Jenna's sweater? Yeah, she's going to be so mad at me. What happened? It was an accident. I saw the sweater on the porch, and I was bringing it to Jetta, but then one of my claws got stuck, and it, it pulled the string, and the whole sweater started falling apart. <sighs> That's why I can't go home. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna live out here. What do you do for food? Well... I didn't think about that. Mac, you should go home and show Jetta that you're sorry. Oh, I don't know. She really misses you, Mac. You think so? I know so. Well, I don't want her to worry. I'm going home. Great! Jetta, maybe Mac came home while we were gone. Yeah, maybe Mac came home. See anyone coming yet, Clifford? Not yet. I don't know if I can do this. I don't want Jetta to be mad at me. Everyone makes mistakes, Mac. Yeah, she might be upset at first, but she'll forgive you. Here they come. <gasps> bye bye Mac! You can't keep running away, Mac. <sighs> okay. the sweater that's for sure but I don't ever want you to run away again you are so much more important to me than some dumb old sweater oh, I love you Mac I'm sure he didn't mean to rip your sweater Jetta <coughs> come to think of it now I can buy a brand new sweater Come on, Mac. Let's go tell Mom we need to go shopping. 
Don't you ever run away either, Clifford. Remember, there's nothing you could ever do that could make me stop loving you. You're my big red dog. Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Pirate Ship. Speckle, Ravi, Luna, and Darnell were at their favorite picnic spot when Speckle started a game of pretend. He imagined he was a brave buccaneer sailing on the high seas, and Luna's backpack was his bag of gold. Soon everyone joined in. Speckle was the captain, and his friends were his fearless crew. With the sun shining and the waves splashing, it was a grand day to be a buccaneer. Then Ravi saw another ship approaching. Who could it be? It was Reba the Red, with a treasure map to share. They studied the map, then steered their ship to follow the treasure map's course, imagining the wonderful adventures they would find along the way. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> special Halloween movie. There. Perfect. <laughs> you look just like a lion. <gasps> Emily! Clifford! Time to go! <gasps> oh no! A lion! Oh, quick! Run for your life! <laughs> oh! oh! Woof, woof. <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't really scare them. They're just pretending to be scared. Oh. It's all part of the fun of Halloween, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you and Clifford look terrific. See, Mom and Dad knew it was you all the time. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, everyone. We better go, or we're gonna miss the movie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doesn't Mac look adorable? He's not adorable. He's Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Do you like our costumes? Believe it or not, I had all of this stuff in my closet. Isn't that way out? <laughs> way, way out. <gasps> Ooh, look. Now there's a scary sight. Who can that be? Jay, let's see. Who on Birdwell Island is two stories tall? You, Mr. Big Scary Lion. Did you escape from the zoo? <laughs> Mrs. Diller, happy Halloween! Look, there's some more monsters. Come on, girls, let's go say hello. <laughs> wow, that was pretty scary, Mac. Yeah, I can be pretty scary. Of course, Jetta and I aren't scared of anything. Nothing? Not even that? Hey, looking good, T-Bone. You look almost as spooky as the ghost dog of Birdwell Island. The 
ghost dog of Birdwell Island? <laughs> There's no such thing as ghosts. Everyone knows that. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows that. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Will everyone please take their seats so we can begin our very scary Halloween movie, The Boo Hoo. <laughs> oh, hurry up, Violet. I want to get a good spot. Well, I don't want to break my stem, you know. Hello, Emily, dear. I see you brought Clifford with you. Yep. He's never seen a movie before, especially a scary one. There are two good seats over there, Violet. Let's go. These movies don't scare me. Nothing scares Mac and me. Right, boy? <laughs> that didn't scare me, Charlie. Uh, come on, Jetta. Everyone gets scared. Charlie, Clifford and I are gonna go sit in the back. We don't want to block anyone's view. Great! I'll come with you. Well, this is the best part about Halloween. That movie sure was fun, with all those spooky ghosts and stuff. <laughs> well, it didn't scare me one bit. Nothing ever scares me. That's too bad, Jetta. Sometimes it's fun to be scared on Halloween. Especially when you know it's only pretend. Hey, Emily, where's your big red lion? He's still at the beach, trying to figure out how all those people got into the movie screen. Did I scare you all tonight with my big teeth? <laughs> you sure did, Pedro. Oh, he did not. Come on, Jetta. Aren't you just a little bit frightened? Brrr. Not even a little bit. We've had enough of Halloween. I'm ready to go home now. Okay, Jetta. Pedro and I will walk with you. But only if you promise to protect us from all those big hairy monsters out there. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go, Mac. Night, everybody. Night. Adios. Hey, what was that? Ah, what's going on? I can't see anything. What happened to the lights? Getting late. I suppose we should head on home. Oh, we have to wait for Clifford. Help! Ghost! Run! There's a ghost out there! Run! Well, look at that. Jetta's pretending to be scared. That's the spirit, Jetta. 
It's the ghost dog of Birdwell Island! I thought you said there's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> it's big, it's white, and it's coming this way! Jen is not pretending. There really is something big out there. It's the ghost! Let's get out of here, Violet. I'm right beside you, Horace. <laughs> What a brave widow watchdog my sweet baby cupcake is. Where is everybody? Hmm. I wonder where Emily Elizabeth could be. Look at that. It's Clifford. <laughs> it's not a ghost. <laughs> it's a big red dog. Oh, it's just a big red dog. It's just a big Well, I have to admit, I've never been so glad to see that dog in my life. Poor Clifford. The sheet they used for the movie screen must have fallen on top of him. It's okay, Clifford. Everything's okay. I'm right here. Is the ghost gone yet? What difference does it make? Nothing scares you and Mac, right, Jetta? We weren't scared. Then why are you under the table? Well, uh, <laughs> Jetta. Ah! It's okay to be scared. Everyone gets scared sometimes, even big brave dogs like Mac. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess you're right. Mac really was scared, wasn't he? So is Clifford. Next year, we're gonna use a sheet for his costume. Next Halloween, he'll be Clifford, my big white ghost. T-Bone, your sandcastle looks great! It sure does, T. Thanks! I did the whole thing all by myself. Clifford and I know that it's always important to be thoughtful of other people's feelings and ideas. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is respect. You know what would make it even better, though? A great big flag! No, I think it's great just the way it is. There. Now it needs a big wall. No, it doesn't. Cleo, this is T-Bone's castle. Before you change it, you should find out if he wants you to. I'm sorry. Next time I'll remember to ask first. Sometimes our friends have thoughts and feelings that are different from ours. When we take the time to find out about those differences, it shows how much we care. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is respect. Clifford? Ruff, ruff.
They smell great, don't they, boy? This morning, I'm sure of it. Hi, Jetta. Oh, hi, Emily Elizabeth. What you doing, Jetta? I can't believe it. I've lost my most favorite.